Yo guys, what's up? My name is Ruskai and welcome to the Handoom V decklist. This card looks absolutely fantastic. I don't think I've ever seen a card this good looking. Okay, let's talk about its main attack. Vengeful Flame. It does 100 damage as base for 3 energies, 1 colorless. That's good for the uh, special energies. Uh, and if one of your benched Pokemon have any damage counters on them, this tank does 100 damage more. So that means you're gonna do 200 damage for just 3 energies on a pretty nice basic Pokemon. This is really nice, but the thing is, setting it up is tricky. Not in this deck though. You have a whole Charizard line, a 2, 1 and 2 line. And this Charizard is absolutely fantastic for this deck, because you do damage counters and you also have a great backup attacker. And then we have one Entei to get your damage going and a Jinx. This Jinx is used to get your damage counters that are on the Charizard to spread them, because if they gust out your Charizard with the damage counters, you lose a crucial amount of damage output. So this Jinx pr prevents that from happening by putting one damage counter from Charizard on one of your other five Pokemon. as a Grobat V for extra draw support. Then the items. So we have three copies of the Evolution Incense, three of the Rare Candy, and four of the Quick Ball. I have had like eight games in a row where I could get a Charizard in my turn to be consistent. We have also one copy of Fire Crystal and two copies of Ordinary Rod, since you will be discarding a lot of energy if you use this attack. So the Ordinary Rod will really help you out, and also if your Charizard dies, you can get it back in play with this. Then one copy of Poke Gear, just because you can, it's not necessary. Um, then we have three copies of Giant Half. Then we have our um, tools. These tools are very, very important in this deck. We have Giant Bomb. This bomb here, it's absolutely perfect for it, that, to this deck. It's really nice to like uh, get a KO and then attacking with your next Hound Doom to get that other kill. <laughs> See what I mean? And then we also have two copies of Burning Scarf because it's not always the case that you need a giant bomb. Sometimes they are like one prizes and they don't do much damage. Then this Burning Scarf will come in handy. We also have two copies of Capture Energy and then in total 12 fire energies um, yeah this is the deck uh, to tell about Entei it's also a really nice counter against Sashin for example because this 120 you will become a 240 which is in the range to kill a Sashin V so you put just one capture energy here or something and the, you are in range to knock him out a really nice card to have here I've made use of it a lot so this was the deck list guys, I hope you will enjoy the gameplay. Cheers mate! Alright, let's go! It's gonna be a fire versus a fire it seems. I'm curious of what he uses. Perhaps it's gonna be a, another Iron Doom V. <laughs> Imagine that. Wouldn't that be great? Let's see, let's see. Okay, so we have a Jinx, a Iron Doom V and a Charmander. Yeah, we're gonna start off with a Handoom and a Jinx and a Charmin. Actually, a pretty good start. Yeah. Unfortunately, they are the first turn though. So they have a Picatinny with Victory Heal. Which I don't really see the use of. It's really weak. And not, not worth the bench space or like, the card space either. A Hop? What is this? This is a noob. A hop. You don't na you don't ever see a hop in play. Like ever. <laughs> wow, okay, we got a perfect turn as well. Why? This is this is not this is not how it's supposed to go guys. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> Alright then. I suppose I don't have a choice now. Nah. I was almost gonna do the same mistake as I did today. Okay, okay. Game already, man. And he already gave up. Wow, okay, what a stupid game what that was, but alright, it's worth to put in the video. <laughs> Alrighty. So, a Nash file. I mean, I don't even know how to speak of the name, but it's a world champion deck box. I like it. I like it a lot. So, it's my turn. I start off with a hand zoom. Quick ball, 
an evolution incense and a burning scar with a money and an energy. So that's good first turn. Oh wow. Right, this is good news. I will have to wait with this one. Wait. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. So this is like a this is a deck based on your retreat cost, which is good for us because we only have a retreat cost of one. What should I do here? Should I just wait? Because I've got my evolution Pokemon here. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Because I don't want to discard any of these cards. They could all be useful later on. Imagine if I pull a rare candy next turn. But then I don't have a charged hand, which is sad. So I need a weld. And energy. But that's impossible, so... Yeah. There's no way I can get my Houndoom V charge next turn. Quick ball. Oh, it's an Eternal, this V Max deck? Wow. Okay, that's a surprise. A nice Crow Bat. Okay, okay. Already though? Yeah, that's what I thought. A scoop up. Okay, okay. Put that in play. Yeah, okay, you got four cards. So we did 30 damage there, which means we will be in knockout range when he has. Six Pokemon in play, which is pretty close. Oh man, if only we put this there and then accelerated it on there, then he wouldn't maybe maybe he wouldn't attack that. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do with this man. Okay, we're gonna discard this money to get. Okay, so our Jinx is. And it's prized. One ordinary raw. And one in the illusion incense. We have our four welders in the deck, that's good. Okay, and one giant bomb is prized. And then the others, I don't care. Oh wait, I forgot to pick uh oh, shit. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um Okay, I'm gonna evolve this one. Hello, Aldo. Nah, because I can't even get it charged now, so it doesn't really matter. I just want to like to get do damage before I use this, because maybe I have a giant bomb, you know? I'm going for it. Okay, we got it charged. Well, too bad the Jinx is benched. And we've got this, okay. If I had the Jinx, then I would do 100 dam 200 damage now. But I don't, so that's sad. That's really unfortunate that the Jinx is benched. I think I'll put this one... I'll keep it. Just like the rest of this. So yeah, we do 100 damage. It's not much. It's not enough. Completely not enough. Get through. Ah, <laughs> oh, too bad. The Jinx is priced, man. And also, just didn't pick up the damn basic Pokemon from with my uh. What do you call it? Quick ball. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we got a charge on. Okay, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Well, I suppose I don't. I don't really mind actually. Wait, we'll put this here. Ladies on him. Raw. Wow. Okay. Great. So we've got this. I'm gonna put this one here, just so so he knows that it won't be easy to knock me out. And we've got welders. 
so that's good. It was probably money though, which is alright, I don't really mind. Okay, let's kill this. Too, too bad we can't like, uh, bosses auto it, otherwise it would be a big deal in the game, in a match. So if he's gonna evolve now, then that's alright. No, he doesn't. Okay, okay. Oh wow, he knocks me out. Well, that's sad. But alright. So, Ante will finish this one off. One prize for one prize. It's a fair deal. So, let's get this. Okay. I'm gonna leave it at that. We've got a giant bomb. Oh man. We'll see what happens now. A boss's order. Well, if he's gonna evolve now, I'm toast. And I'm really toast. Man, I, I just feel it coming. He's gonna have it. Shit. Oh, no. See, that's why I need the Jinx. He's gonna have it. Why is he taking so long to evolve it? Damn man, what a stress. I don't want to see it evolve. Oh my god, no way. What a bastard. Shit man, shit. And I can't force him to do anything either. Well no, that's partially true. What are the odds of him actually having two well uh, two bosses order? I don't think that's much. Oh man, I forgot I don't have damage counters in play. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Where is that goddamn jinx? Where's that jinx? It's such a stupid mistake. Oh man, that bugs me so much that I don't have my Jinx in play. Jinx, where are you? Where you need? Oh man. Oh, that means it's game. Can't kill him now. Mm. He's gonna retreat or something. What is he gonna do? Like I can't get my jinx. God damn man, I need my jinx. So they don't they didn't even attack. They gave me mercy. So this means I can actually still win. Here now, 
this is basically the recipe to get your chars on. But don't think I will get that in play. Alright, let's just get our last prize card we need and then we can use our boss's order to get those last three prizes. If he attacks this one, he will be in range to get killed by Ante. So he's now in a pretty weird spot. But uh, why didn't he attack? Does he think that he will die when he attacks me with a when I have a giant bomb? What, what is his mind? I'm so confused. But it's game then, right? <laughs> it's game. He actually just killed himself by not attacking. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, that was lucky, I guess. Oh man, I'm so confused. He's probably now. Oh shit. He's probably worried now. So this, yeah, 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 yeah. I can just kill him. <laughs> it's game. What? <laughs> oh my god, it's so weird. Why did Why did you let me win? Not like that. So there's a jinx, and that jinx was so necessary, but we still won, which is weird. Which is really weird. So what you just saw, what you just saw, lads, is that this deck needs its jinx. So now I'm thinking of actually just putting an extra jinx in there. It's it's my first time in like 20 games to have a jinx in the prizes. So that was my first time experiencing that. So guys, this was the Huntum V deck. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more decks like these. Um, I will be uploading every Monday, uh, Wednesday and Saturday, so stay tuned for that and um, if you have any suggestions about this deck or any thoughts, just let me know in the comments, anything will do, yep, and have a good day for the lads, cheers!